Hi everyone, so I wanted to show off all the different uh, Junko Okamoto designs that I've done. Uh, I've used her motifs in a lot of different patterns and projects because um, I just really love how they look. I love the texture um, and the traditional kind of floral scheme she uses. Um, I've done the scarf um, twice already. This is the second one. I did um, a set uh, with the sweater and the scarf in um, Lana Gato uh, red and then this like fuchsia color. I actually use it as like a the sleeve stitch holder. Um, it's this pink color with red and I really liked how that kind of monochrome look came out. You can check it out on my Ravelry. Uh, I can link the um, project below so you can check that out. Um, this was the second one I did. I did it for me. Um, this is pretty much true to the pattern. Um, I used spun right round um, yarn and the background is Rumble and Brighton. Um, and the contrasting color, I forget what it was, it's like this blue-green. Um, it's more green in person but it looks more kind of like a blue or green on camera um, and so the only thing I did to modify it was do this like double collar so it's a little thicker um, and then the same the double cuff at the bottom and I used like a little bit of the contrast color to give it a little bit more pop um, I also added in this gold thread I had um, it's this I think it's like a nylon or like polyester blend um, it's called Rexer from, um, what's the yarn company? It's a British yarn company. Oh, Yeoman Yarns. So you can order it online. It's like in a cone form. And I doubled and tripled it um, to kind of get like a thicker look. But I think actually here I use it mostly single strand. So it's a little bit more subtle, but um, you can play around with making it thicker. Um, yeah, so I think if you've watched any videos with her sweater design, you can kind of probably already guess that the top would fit a little bit strange. I wouldn't necessarily recommend adding the collar unless you add maybe more stitches initially to kind of have it sit better on your collarbone. Um, it kind of sits higher up and it's a little bit awkward. Um, because this area is kind of tight and you can't really stretch it around your shoulder so it kind of sits up higher. Um, I can show pictures of it on. Um, so that's the only thing I would modify, like starting with a higher stitch count and then just leaving some more spacing in between here <clears throat> um, to kind of have it just sit lower. Um, I've also made the uh, rug sweater with her and just like the shaping um, It's the same thing. There's something a little bit off about the shaping around your shoulders and your collar that you can't really like lift your arms up and like Yeah, I don't want to bash her design because I love the motifs um, But that element the shaping element is not ideal So yeah, as you can see I have not finished the sleeves. I was thinking of doing them short sleeved um, I made this last winter and I actually ran out of yarn. I had like half a skein left. Um, as you can see, I did not really integrate the two skeins very well. This is a different one here, but oh well, I kind of like it. So yeah, that's the front. Um, I really like these colors together. They're really bold and fun. I love the back. I love how it's like that mirrored image. So yeah, um, I really like the dye job. The quality of the yarn isn't the greatest. Um, I think with indie dyeing, it's kind of hard to know the quality of the base you're getting because you don't really have any information on that per se. You get more information on the dyer. You can get the the qual or the uh, the makeup like so and so percent merino with whatever silk or nylon, but you don't really know like the quality. So. I don't know, contrasting it with the uh, Lana Gato uh, Merino. It's a big difference in my opinion. Um, this was 
actually, yeah, super soft, and I can't remember which color this one was, but I loved, loved, loved the feel of it. So soft. All right, so the next one is the table runner that I'm still in the process of making. Um, it is a very long, long project. I will lay it out in another video. Um, but I used the scarf pattern and instead of doubling it up, I actually just did it flat. So it's not knit in the round, it's knit flat. So normally you'd have that and fold it and connect it in the round. So you can see there's a wrong side here. Sorry, you, you fold it this way, but um, yeah, I needed a wedding present <clears throat> for actually an old host family. And I wanted to do something that would be um, personal and very unique. Um, it's kind of hard to see some of the motifs. I think I need to iron it um, or block it. I ended up adding in um, the bird motif from Erica Hauser. I don't know if that's how you say her name. From her songbird mittens. Um, I did that with the scarf in it as well. You can kind of see I just mirrored it so it would sit on your table. Um, yeah, I will lay it out after, but it's pretty long. I used um, cotton from Universal Yarns and then a linen as the contrast. I think it's called Flax, and I forget who it's by, but I can link that. And then I put a crocheted border with um, single crochet, double, single, triple, single, double. Kind of just did like a little weave pattern. But yeah, I'm really happy how it came out. I've been putting off doing the edging and fixing that. Um, the linen's kind of like a thicker, uh, less yielding edge, so I'm not really sure uh, how this will lay on the table. But there's that. Um, and then this one I've kind of given up on, but it is a, uh, if you can kind of see it, it's more of a textural version. I used a, uh, pearl stitches where you would do normally uh, knit for the contrast contrast color. Um, and then I kept the float kind of look, the embroidery look, but it's kind of hard to see on camera. It creates more of a textural piece. I tried to use larger needles, but I think it's hard to keep the tension when you're doing these floats. And it kind of got wonky, as you can see. It's bulging out here. So I wanted to create like a looser fabric, but that did not happen. Again, I am not sure if I'm going to continue with this, so it's been sitting there for a while. This one I've kind of just made up as I've gone along. I used Barocco um, cotton. I forget what the cotton's called, but it's awesome. It's very like silky to the touch. I think there's probably something blended in. I'll have to get back to you. Um, but yeah, I kind of played with it, with the design, so it's kind of interesting. Again, I used Erica Hauser's uh, Songbird Mitten pattern, and I was kind of playing with doing like a striped motif with it, and she has just solid all of this, and I was like, I don't really want that all. So I broke it up. And then I also put these little flower designs, I played with those too, but she has these flowers that are on the thumb of the mitten. And I kind of put them upside down and then right side up and then played with the texture of the leaves. And then for the yoke, I did a top down raglan. I played with doing a kind of Junko motif on the raglan um, center line. I don't know what you'd call it. Each one kind of came out different. Um, I was doing the floats and then the kind of color work off of that and then I added a little ruffle so I used different motifs on that too I did not do any short row shaping which is a big mistake yeah I don't know I 
just making it up as I went, as I said, and just kind of doing the raglan increases, and I didn't really do enough of those, so I should have either gone farther with that or done more shaping. I like that better for the front. So that was another experiment. And this little dude is a mashup of all different cottons. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five different uh, background yarns. This was a cotton, I think DK. Um, this was a different cotton. It's almost a little bit more like, has a mercerized kind of sheen to it. This one definitely didn't, but it was a lighter weight. I think it was like a sport weight. This one might have been a DK. Um, I used, I don't know how to say it, I'm definitely gonna butcher it, but it's like Issa Jer <laughs> um, yarn, and it's a blend of linen, cotton, and a few other things, and I really loved the dark color. Um, unfortunately, it bled a little bit. It's hard to see, but um, yeah, I should have rinsed it before. It was on like a cone, so I didn't even think to do that, but they're the songbirds that I added in again from her uh, pattern. But I think it really goes well with the Junko motifs. This is Lang Yarn and Silk. It's an awesome silk. This was from Crayo Fuzz Family. I did a test knit, and she had some fingering weight, so I ended up doubling that. Um, she gave me so I used the rest of that It's a little bit larger as you can see it bulges and this was Sammy I forget it's a mono yarns. I think it's just straight cotton It's really soft, but it's like very pilly like it's that kind of soft like fuzzy feel so I don't really love it for I don't know it's hard to pick up on camera, but there's a little fuzz ball. Was not my favorite look. There's the Lang again. It has that sheen of almost like a mercerized cotton. So this is the Lang up here again too. Um, it's kind of hard to show. The light is a little bit misleading. But basically for this, for the scarf pattern, she has you do the motifs twice. Um, but what I did was I s decided to mirror and there's the same thing over here. So it's an exact opposite reflection when you wear it. Um, you can kind of have it sit so it's going in the right direction if it's just around your neck, which I like because I feel like this is the type of scarf that you kind of want to show off. So if it's in the right direction on both sides, you can kind of be like, hey, look at this. You get the design showing. Um, since they're opposite, you get you don't have to hide the wrong side. It's potentially seen on both sides around your neck. So, yeah. Those were my Junko Okamoto projects. The obsession is real. And I would encourage you to freestyle with it and add them into other projects or modify the motifs or do whatever. Make a table runner. Have a blast. Wow, this is really hard to show. <laughs> it's a big ball. All right, sorry for flipping the camera so much. I just wanted to go through my love affair with these patterns.